Okay, so what is good? Today we're going to be talking about an Affliction Lock pre-raid BIS guide. Quick disclaimer on this pre-raid BIS guide. Well, two disclaimers actually. Um, it, first off, if you don't want to watch the video, if you are just looking for a straight set, that's going to be at the end of the video, so you can just uh, have a good one, I guess. Second disclaimer is that in Wrath of the Lich King, the pre-raid BIS in Wrath is seriously not that important. It is not like TBC or vanilla at all in that aspect. When it comes to when it comes to Wrath, none of the pre-raid BIS items that you're going to get are, you know, you're going to use them for a while until you get tier 7 BIS. But it's not like vanilla where you know, your your hand of justice or whatever on your warrior is going to be used, I don't know, to like Blackwing Lair or some shit. Um, it's nothing like that with Wrath. With Wrath, just about every single tier, <clears throat> with exception to like one or two items, you're going to have a, an entirely new set of gear. So if you don't get this pre-raid BIS, if you are even missing pieces uh, going into Nax, it's not a big deal because Nax is so easy. Tier 7 in general is so easy. Mali, easy as hell. Even OS3 Drake is very easy. But with that being said, um, I know that there are a lot of people, myself included, who are going to at least try for pre-raid BIS just to, you know. The game is just more fun whenever you're pumping. So let's get into it. So now first item is going to be your helmet. This is where your helmet is... Technically, the pre-raid BIS item is a Winter Grasp helmet, but I do not recommend you go for this unless you're an extreme tryhard because you're literally, it's it's 40 Winter Grasp marks to get um, if you see it on the screen. And that shit takes forever. And ideally, whenever you're getting this helmet, you get the haste one, the 40 haste. So there's 44 hit rating here. The... There, there's a secondary winter grasp option that has 44 haste instead ideally you would get both as and then as you your gear progresses into tier 7 you would be able to swap between them like depending on what other pieces you get i wouldn't do that 40 winter grass marks it literally takes hours and hours you're going to be in winter grass forever what i would do instead uh is save your life and go and get this helmet this helmet is called hat of wintry doom it's from tailoring it shouldn't be more than like two or three hundred gold it might be a little more at the beginning of the server but the difference is literally you can look at it it's literally like 20 or 30 spell power or some shit it's nothing because none of this is going to be tier 7 bis even nax 10 has upgrades that are better than this helmet so yeah i wouldn't spend a lot of time in here uh this helmet is very good though i will admit another thing with this uh, is it may not be available. I'm not entirely sure. I've been on different servers where these these winter grass helmets aren't available at the very beginning. And in that case, I would definitely use this. And what other items? So there's also from uh, Heroics, there's a bunch of different blues. Most of those suck though. I would just, I would straight up use this, especially with the extra hit rating on it. And then here are two Sunwell items. They're from the last boss in Sunwell. If you're farming stuff and you're already going to passively get this helmet from Sunwell, then sure, why not? Just know that you're going to have to, like, if you want the full value of this at level 80, you would have to add new level 80 gems, a new level 80 enchant onto both of these. Next item is going to be your necklace. So a lot of people actually troll when it comes to the necklace. This item right here this is from 25 heroic badges it's super easy to get don't get anything else except this but a lot of people troll and they go and buy this fucking expensive uh jewel crafting necklace well they don't need to at all i would definitely just just get this if you have extra honor you can get this pvp one honorable mentions though th these two from hero or this one is from a heroic it's from heroic old kingdom heroics in wrath of the lich king are very easy so if you come across this, it's also a very good option, especially early on. And then uh, honorable mention from this Sunwell necklace. Uh, the stats on it aren't too far behind. 
So like this would have 93 of important stats, and then this has uh, just about that. What's that, like 70, 71 or something like that, and then another 15. So these items are actually very close. And the stats, when you're looking to stat your Warlock, these stats are perfect. So if you end up with this item, some, uh, you know, I don't know shit about TBC, but if you end up with this item, uh, you're probably going to use it until a pre-raid bis. Now, shoulders. Um, okay, so here's the part where if you're actually going to get anything from Sunwell, if you're going to try to get any piece of item, I would get this item. This is from Eridar Twins. It is super good, super well statted. You would put a 19 spell power in there, and then you would put a either a spell power hit or a spell power haste gem in there, and then you would get the fat socket bonus. This is your pre-raid bis. Um, you're you're a hundred percent not going to find anything better than this. It is actually substantially better than this, but at the same time, you still don't need it. It's not again. It's not mega important, but I just want to hone in on. This being pre raid bis, and it's very, very good. And this is from Eridar Twins Sunwell Plateau. So the next one is going to be your Dark Runic Mantle. Um, I could see a lot of, I could see this being ridiculously overpriced. I don't, I wouldn't spend more than like 500 gold on this if you're serious about your gearing. Um, if you have a lot of gold, feel free, but this, it drops in a heroic, it drops all the time. Um, eventually, everybody's going to get it. And it's also really good. So luckily your shoulder slot is kind of, your shoulder slot's a pretty easy one to come by. It's just on the auction house. It drops in heroic halls of stone, I think. Uh, but it's just a trash drop. This other one's also from halls of stone. It's not too bad. And then this is brutal gladiator. This, uh, like I would typed here, this gets an honorable mention just cause it's got hit rating on it. It's got two sockets. It's really not bad. Like I don't, I don't know how PVP and shit works in TBC, but if you were to somehow end up with this item, it's really not bad. And you could actually use it pretty much till pre-raid bis and just put in two, either like 16 or 12 spell power gems or some shit. It's really not bad. Next item's gonna be your cloak. So this requires some talking about. So this is your, oops, let me zoom in, there we go. So this is your death chill cloak. As you can see, it requires a bunch of materials that generally this cloak goes for around 2k gold. The part about this cloak that makes it questionable is that it requires someone on the server has to do every single Northrend quest. Um, now, <clears throat> is there someone that's going to do that? Of course. Someone is literally, that is the first thing that they're going to do. They are going to no life and no sleep all i think it's like thousand quests or something like that it's a shit ton someone is going to do that but there there's no way that you get this cloak available on your server day one or day two maybe super late day two i don't know if someone literally just doesn't sleep for like 48 hours or something point being is that this cloak is it's a boe so uh, someone needs to not only do they have to do all these quests, but then they're gonna charge you a fee on top of this Usually it's like 500 to a thousand gold is the fee Rightfully so, you know, I don't want to do all this Good way to make gold also if you're a quest lover or whatever you can actually just do this and try and beat everybody out Because you're basically cornering the market at this point like you're only competing with like another two or three people that have that, that also do all the quests. So if you want gold, feel free. Yeah, you can read the mats here. Like I said, it usually costs around 2K gold. Your next BIS item is going to be, uh, this is from Sunwell. It's from Kill Jaden. Really good stats. Uh, I mean, n none of these items compare to Death Chill Cloak. Uh, your Death Chill is going to be BIS until Pennant Cloak, which is like tier seven bis, very rare, very highly contested cloak. So realistically just get this crafted, but again, Sunwell has a really good one, so you could level with it and it's, you know, it's gonna be good at level 80. And then from PVP, this might be available, these hateful cloak of ascendancy. 
There's also a 34 haste option instead of the hit rating one. I don't know the name of it, but again, private servers are a little different because some of them start the server with this being available. I'm not entirely sure how Blizzard's going to do it, but yeah. And then there's one from Heroic Oculus that's also pretty good. The stats on it are slightly behind the Sunwell one, but you know this one's mega easy to get because it's just a Heroic. Okay, so let's do chest. So for your chest, your your bis chest piece is going to be the Spellweave Robe. The stats are just incredibly high. Um, it's not too expensive. It's probably about a thousand gold. But you have to remember this spirit here is going to give you spell power. Another thing that you're going to want to get, though, is the Tier 7 chest. The Tier 7 chest, when it comes to gearing in Tier 7, you absolutely need 4-piece on your Warlock. This little set bonus is, is the reason. It's really strong. And getting the chest out of the way through badges, um, it's, 40, or it's 80 Emblems of Heroism. You're going to need this chest eventually so that you can have the 4-piece Tier 7. It's also, it, this chest is also, also actually pretty decent. It's got hit rating on it, a couple sockets. Yeah. And yeah, this is some, some fucking TBC thing. Sunfire robe is pretty good. I was surprised. It actually, like the stats on it are, it's really high statted, even going into Wrath. So yeah, if you can get your hands on this, I'm pretty sure this is expensive as hell in TBC. So if you're not, I'm pretty sure this is over like 20k gold. So if you don't have, if you don't want to waste 20k gold, if you're not actively raiding in TBC, don't get this item. It's really good. It'll last, but it'll get replaced by a an item that's like 1k gold or drops in a heroic. It's super easy. But yeah, last chest is going to be your uh, heroic Asjal Narub, and then there's also heroic Oculus. Um, I think it's. The second boss in Heroic Asjal, and then the first boss in Oculus. Okay, so moving on to Bracers. So your pre Abyss, hands down, is from Heroic Oculus. It's from the last boss. There's really... The only other item that's kind of close is this Tailoring one. Tailoring one is really cheap, and it's super well statted. You know, you can read that there, but mainly it's because of this two-piece, because you can actually pick up... Let's say you don't pick up Sunwell legs. You can pick up these bracers and then also pick up the crafted legs, which I'll talk about later. And then you would get your two-piece really easily. And then it's actually super close to even the Heroic Oculus standard pre-rebus piece. So yeah, other honorable mentions. Just get this bracer, but... This is a decent pickup from the second boss, or the raptor boss in Heroic Dragon Around Keep. And then this is from a Reputation. So pretty early on, you can grab this because you're going to need this Reputation for the boots anyway. Uh, so yeah. So next piece is going to be your gloves. Your gloves are from Tailoring. It's a BOE again. So again, you have to remember this spirit is worth about 20 spell power, and then you have a shit ton of other stats here. Um, there's just nothing close. And again, you are you don't need the tier 7 two-piece. You need the four-piece. The two-piece is not that good for affliction, so definitely don't gear for that. Some honorable mentions are these two from Sunwell, especially these gloves. These gloves are really freaking good. They're from the last boss, but again, these are the ideal stats that you're going to want as Affliction. So if you manage to pick up these gloves, uh, they're not better than Spellweave, but you're absolutely going to use that. They're better than these gloves. They're better than the ones that drop in Heroic. But yeah, you would use these for a pretty decent amount of time. Um, these are just, the stats are so good. And, and with the two sockets, they're just actually pretty close to this. So yeah, then there's the easy option, which is just Heroic Old Kingdom. Um, these gloves are still really good. And yeah, these are your two from Kill Jaden. Okay, so next item is going to be your belt. This belt is your Biss. It's from 40 Badges of Hero. Um, very, very easy to get. Don't get anything else. This is, this is non-negotiable. There's nothing else. that This is perfect stats. It comes at a time when you need the hit rating, and 
you can even stack two fat hit gems in there if you need to uh, with the belt buckle that they unlock. Until then, if you manage to get uh, this one from Heroic Utgard Pinnacle or this Reputation one or this Reputation one, if you just happen to get those, then yeah, you can just buy it. You know, they're they're going to be cheap or free if it were to drop here. Um, and then this one is like, this is probably going to be like 20 gold on the auction house. So if you have literally some kind of shitty green, you could just pick this up. Uh, but yeah, this is a massive item. Just pick this up off the vendor. Next item is going to be your legs. This is the next item that if you are raiding Sunwell, you absolutely want to pick this up. Um, they're called Leggings of Calamity. They drop from the second boss in Sunwell. Um, this is going to be your pre-raid pre -raid bis. And they're insanely good. And it comes at a time where the only other option for le for good legs in uh, phase one is this piece of shit. And just, I mean, you can look at it. Look at the stat. The stats are just so insane on these legs. Um, it's the whole reason that people actually run Sunwell on fresh servers, like fresh private servers, is specifically... <laughs> For these legs and then like some rogue piece, uh, rogue two piece, um, just because both of those are so insanely strong. This is also a good option. I think this is healer gear in in uh, TBC, so you could just pick this up off the first boss. And yeah, if you don't have access to Sunwell, then this pair of pants is going to be your bis, and. Um, you can use these legs also. So these legs are pretty cheap. They're going to be probably, I don't know, 150 gold or something like that in combination with the bracers that I mentioned earlier. And then you're going to get your cool little two-piece. So that's legs. So now boots. Um, boots is another item where it's like there's no other option. There's nothing even close. Just get your worm rest exalted. Get these these bis boots. They're called Sandals of, of Crimson Fury. Until then, if these drop out of Nexus, you can use them. If these, you know, if you're doing normals for whatever reason, you can use these for a little bit. Um, whenever you're doing Reputation, you're going to get this pretty early in the Argent Crusade area. Um, these are pretty decent boots too. But yeah, just get these. Okay, so here's kind of why I made this freaking video. Is specifically the ring section. <laughs> There are so many options where you can really screw up. And I read this all over Reddit. Do not, I have to start with this. Do not buy this ring unless you're, unless you have freaking gold cap and you just want some kind of teleport to Dalaran or some shit. <laughs> Don't buy this freaking ring. Don't ever use this ring. It, it, like these little Corintor rings suck. Um, there's only one where it's good for like frost DK. And it's good for like an Ellie or something like that. Or I, I don't know, maybe Destro Lock. But don't freaking get this ring. Um, so yeah, uh, your two pre-ray bits are going to be these two rings. Um, depending on when they release Nax, you might actually be able to pick up the Valor ring for 25 Valor. Um, you know, that just completely depends on what Blizzard unlocks. But generally, these two rings... I would I, I want to stress that you need at least one of these rings. Um not before Nax, but like if these drop, I would literally I, I would spam whisper that whoever wins, like let's say you don't win, I would spam whisper them and be like, dude, I will buy that ring for like 5k gold. I will buy that either one of these, because they're super close. If you look at the stats, they're they're the difference is literally one haste. Um but you're gonna use one of these rings well into nax um the only replacement is going to be off of kt and it's a highly contested ring so if one of these drops be willing to pay for that don't pay for this piece of shit be willing to pay for one of these rings um the second ring you don't need both of them but you definitely need at least one of these um because you're going to use that for a while and you may even use this in the old war i i do i do want to mention that you may use it in old war because of how highly contested and high how rare the um the kt ring is um 
So you need at least one of these, and then you would use the 25 Valor ring as your second ring. So don't go crazy if you don't have both of these, but definitely get one of them. If you don't have either of these rings, uh, you can use this. This is going to be like 1,000 gold. This is going to be like 300. Again, your ring, they, these aren't that good. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even buy these. Um, there's also the Argent Crusade Reputation Ring. Um, I don't have it listed up here, but it's basically this, but it's just kind of poorly statted with, uh, it's like intellect heavy instead of haste heavy. Um, but yeah, you could use that temporarily as well, but definitely at least pick up one of these rings. Um, and then don't buy this fucking thing unless you have gold cap. All right. So now we're on a trinkets. So for your trinkets, um, I'm 99% sure that this is a private server meme, but this trinket is actually going to be insane if it works. I don't think it will. Um, but if it ends up working and you can use it as affliction, you can see that it's, it says your direct healing and heal over time. Um, for private servers, this procs off of like some weird shit where there's no way it's supposed to work, but it might. And you see the, the 98 spell power on it's really good. Um, but yeah, don't buy this unless you read all over forums and, blizzard has like come out and say hey this is not a bug we actually intend for this to work don't buy this immediately um just pick up this sundial which is also 40 uh badges i didn't mention that but it's it's 40 badges of hero it's on the vendor um but yeah don't it, one thing to mention is don't use these two trinkets together they both they, they're not going to proc together uh so if if the if wrath gets launched and somehow you can do brew, uh, brew fest really quick uh there's this thing called mithril pocket watch um it's going to share cooldown with this 40 badge trinket though and then the other pre-raid bis item is going to be your mark of war which is from heroic violet hole um so yeah have fun farming that literally everyone needs it and it's very good um honorable mention though is this four jember um my good warlock buddy thinks that this is pre-raid bis and it's also it, it is pretty good generally in wrath you're you're looking for two trinkets that have a um a proc with a you know a 10 second proc with a 45 icd um and generally it's going to outstat um an on use trinket and another thing about this on use is that you can't use it with engineering gloves at the same time. Um, so if you don't manage to get this, you can definitely make a set out of the four Jember. But I personally, I think that Mark of War is just so much better. Um, you can use this during Lust and it's just mega good. Now, the big honker, big honker is going to be your weapons. So first off. Um, and there's a lot of debate here. Um, some people use uh, main hand and off hand, and then others use the staff that I'm about to mention. But um, first thing is going to be your heroic Oculus staff. Uh, this these stats are really good. There's basically no there's no other epic item that's going to compete with this, um, unless they put in this thing called Titan Steel Spellblade. Um, if this item is in the game, which it shouldn't be. If it, but if it is, um, this is your bis in combination with one of these offhands. Um, but I 99% sure I don't think that this is going to be in the game. Um, so I would just go with this staff. If you don't manage to get these this staff, then you can get the Corintor Revered Dagger and use that in conjunction with uh, either of these offhands, depending on how much hit rating you have. Generally, you're going to have to use it with this Ward of Violet Citadel with uh, hit rating on it as well. Uh, both of these are 25 badges each. Um, some other easy options that are actually really close are the Heroic Drag Throne Keep. Um, actually has a main hand and an off hand that drop off of it. Uh, it's from the little second wizard boss. Um, and then this staff is basically the same thing as this except worse statted. Um, this is from Heroic Utgard Pinnacle. It's like the third boss, I think. And then under weapons, I want to mention that this 
is like a healer staff in TBC, but it would be insane for leveling, and you would probably use it for a while. It's pro it's basically equivalent to this, um, especially if you were to put three wrath gems in there, and you already had it like pre enchanted and stuff. Um, but yeah, this is off of Kill Jaden, I believe, and it's really good. Um, and then yeah, just uh, if again, if you're doing Sunwell, just pick up this this little offhand. It's pretty close to. It's pretty close to the other offhands that are available at level 80. And finally, there is Wand. Wand is something that is just non-negotiable. Um, and I see a lot of people mess it up on Affliction. Um, this is going to be your pre raid best Wand. This thing is godly. Um, you're not going to replace this until Heroic... Not Heroic. 25-man uh, Nax, the first boss. It's a Nubarak. It's pretty contested. So you might not get this, you might not get that, that wand for a while, and this one is godly. So you're definitely going to want to be doing heroic guard keep. Um, and I would even, what I do is I make sure that nobody else needs to freaking wand when I go in there. Um, cause I don't want to waste my lockouts where I'm not getting a good, at least a good opportunity at this wand. Um, so yeah, definitely one of the, one of the biggest items that you're going to want to farm is this wand. And then yeah, this is this is some high high tech stuff. You might use this to, to snapshot your weapon. Um, ideally, by then you already have a different wand, but um, you might end up using this. And honestly, if you don't have another wand, this isn't a, a terrible one, but it's nowhere near the power of this uh, heroic card keep one. Um, and then there is the heroic old kingdom wand. Same same um situation as this one below it it's pretty good if you don't have a wand just use it for a while um and then yeah this this honorable mention is from sunwell trash this is like a, a healer wand um you could put a fat socket in it if you wanted to but yeah the stats are pretty decent on it it's it's got decent amount of spell power if you were to put a 19 spell power gem in there i mean it's pretty good um but yeah, if you only have a TBC gym in it, it's not too, it's, you know, it's going to be marginally good. Um, and then this is just some really cheap BOE. If you literally don't have a wand, just pick this up. It'll probably be like literally 20 gold. Okay, so this is the end of the video where I show the full set of um, the entire pre-raid bis for Affliction Lock. Um the only so i couldn't put in sunwell stuff but so the only notable changes are going to be uh the amos of the convoker from eridar twins is going to be the shoulders and then you would use just an extra um you would put that orange socket into the yellow of the amos and then you would put uh a ruined 19 spell spell power gem into the other new socket that you would get and then the other spot would be used with, uh, so these legs would be leggings of the Calamity. And then you would just fill that with uh, a Reckless in the yellow and then two ruined spell powered gems in the two red sockets. <laughs> so from the top, it would be this uh, Winter Grasp helmet. This is 25 badges. Again, this would be the Sunwell shoulders. This is Death Chill Cloak with. Uh, tailoring enchant this is your spell weave robe with 15 spirit on it this is heroic oculus bracers with 30 spell power this is your oculus weapon again as i mentioned before the if the titan steel spell blade is in the game and uh you're able to use it or not you're able but um you would also you would use the titan steel spell blade and uh either ward of the violet citadel or a different offhand and then you could swap out the mark of war prisoner for either forge ember from halls of stone or you would just have to play around with the hit rating because you're also gymming a lot of hits so you could just run the ward with the titan steel spell blade um then you have this wand is from heroic guard keep you have spell weave gloves this is just tailoring stuff um you have 40 badge belt with hit haste on it and then again you would have leggings of calamity from sunwell 
you would go with this is worm rest reputation this is heroic agar keep and then this is heroic culling of stratholme this is from 40 badges of uh, heroism and then this is from heroic violet holt the last boss in there so there's a couple other sets in there that or there's a couple of different uh sets that you could do that aren't too far behind um i could just go through a couple of them so for example this one isn't too far behind you can get the heroic or keep legs you can grab uh, this weapon, this offhand. Not too far behind. It may it, it's simming a little higher, but you know it's that sims for you. But yeah, uh, that's everything. Uh, so if you made it to this part, thanks a lot for watching. Um, if you have any other questions on your pre-raid bis or what I would recommend, uh, feel free to ask in the comments. And yeah, thanks for watching. Have a good one.